Rogers Cup. Here we go. So we are uh, on our way to the Rogers Cup, <laughs> which is kind of like Wimbledon, except nothing much crappier. Much crappier. Um, it does have some decent players in it, none of which we're going to see today uh, because this is the qualifying round. So we're going to get to see some players that are hopefully up and coming or are forever going to be bottom feeders. Either way, we're going to have some fun. It's a nice sunny day. So we're lining up for the uh, entrance here and apparently we have uh, VIP tickets. Thanks Victoria. Which uh, means that we can't be bothered to line up with the rest of the riffraff. One of them almost touched me. <laughs> I think someone made eye contact with me. Now we can go to the VIP section where we belong. for like two seconds and already we see Canada's top ranked tennis player on court right now. Signing autographs, Nilo Sraonic, Thornhill Zone. Wow. He's coming. He's coming. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Denis Shapovalov. He's one of the up and coming players. He's only 19 right now. What? But of the next gen players, he has probably one of the brightest futures. He beat Rafa Nadal. Wow. This is breaking. <laughs> and where, where is he from? He Canada. is from, I think it's uh, Thornhill, yeah. Oh, yeah. so same as. Him and Milo are both from Oh, yeah. man. Who did you meet today? Uh, Nadal, but I think his picture. Oh, Rafa was, he was here? here? I told those kids how many subscribers I had on YouTube and uh, they were very much unimpressed. Maybe now's a good time to say hit that like button, subscribe, share, so that these kids don't think I'm a total failure. Thanks, that'd be great. Trying to uh, get to one of the practice courts and hopefully get a glimpse of Rafa Nadal. David Foster Wallace once said that repetitive practice often looks tedious or even cruel to the outsider, but the outsider can't feel what's happening and what's going on inside the player. And that's what we're seeing today. The tournament hasn't even really started yet, but these guys are out here sweating in the midday sun for hours and hours, refining their serve, refining their returns. While I'm out here watching them, they're like putting in the work. And, and when, when game time starts, then it's gonna be, we're gonna see, you know, who really put in the most work. These guys make it look so easy. But I haven't seen the hours and hours and hours compounded over years and years and years of work that they put in to get to this level, to make it look easy. It's so cool that those kids we met this morning were here to watch these guys just practice. They're learning that lesson that it's not gonna happen overnight, that it's not, it doesn't happen uh, on game day, that you gotta put in the work beforehand. So that wraps up my day here at the Rogers Cup. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, hit me up with a comment. What are you practicing? What are you training for? And what you're hoping the result of that will be. See you next time.